Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The other day I was asked the question, how do you fix the unknown USB device, device descriptor request failed error in Windows? Now, um, just to go through a couple of steps um, on how to do that in this video today, and this is by no means a comprehensive list. And these are just personal things I've tried over the years, which uh, to some extent have worked. So I thought I'd just share them uh, in this video to answer that question. Now, first of all, um, to just to do a quick summary as to what the actual error is all about. A brief summary would be that the unknown USB device device descriptor request failed error occurs when the operating system has trouble determining the identity of a USB device. So it can't identify that USB device you're actually plugging into your, into your system. And this could happen for a couple of reasons. Um, it could be because of an actual hardware fault with the USB port or your motherboard. Uh, it could be a driver issue, which is very common. And it could be that the actual USB device itself is faulty. So those are a couple of reasons why this could all be happening. Now, just to give you a visual example of what the error is, and this is just a screenshot taken. Um, universal serial bus controllers, and here are your devices. And here you can see one of the devices has that error and cannot be um, recognized as mentioned. Unknown USB device, device descriptor request failed. So that's the error. And that's what you will see in your device manager, which shows you a list of your hardware. And that will also show up um, on your desktop um, if, that, um, can, if it cannot recognize your actual USB device. Now to get to your device manager, uh, it's quite simple in Windows. Just right click on your start menu. Head up to Device Manager, click on that, and this will open up the Legacy Device Manager. And as mentioned, there's a list of all your hardware, and here we go, here are all your USB devices. Now, I do not currently have the error, but just the other day, I actually did get this error, and I fixed it, and I'll show you how I did that in just a while. Now, first of all, if you are seeing this error, um, be it on your desktop, and if you go to your Device Manager, and you see one of your USB devices cannot be recognized, then there are a couple of things you can try first of all. And the easiest would be is just to disconnect your USB device from the actual USB port it's plugged into and then reconnect it again. See if that helps. Something else you can try is unplug it from that port and plug it into another port and see if that helps. And then something I always suggest with most computer issues, and this will solve the, ma the, ma the majority of minor computer issues you have on your system. Just restart your PC, and in most cases, that will help the issue. And something I actually tried the other day, um, as mentioned, I actually saw this problem the other day, and all I did was I went to the device, I right-clicked on the device that actually had the error, and I disabled that device. I clicked on Disable Device, and then I let it run through the steps. It doesn't take very long. I waited a couple of seconds. I came back. I right-clicked again on the same device, and I re-enabled that device and that actually solved the issue for me. So that's something you can try. Restart your device and try re uh, disabling and re-enabling the device. Those are um, two highly recommended um, solutions I do, uh, do um, suggest you try um, before we get into the deeper steps. Now, um, something else you can also do is um, you can unplug the USB device from your current PC and then go plug it into another device. So if you have another PC on hand, go see if it's doing the same thing in another computer. So we're just kind of going through a process of elimination to see what the actual problem is. Now, something else to take note of here. If you are using, as an example, just a simple example, if you are using a USB 2 device and plugging that into a USB 3 port, that could also cause problems and vice versa. So just make sure that uh, the device meets the speed requirements of the actual port you are plugging uh, the device into, and that could also solve and uh, correct a whole lot of issues when it comes to this error being generated. Now, with that out the way, um, a couple of other things you can actually try, and in no particular order, and now we're diving just a little bit deeper uh, into what you can do to try and resolve the issue. Now, if you have a a hub plugged into your device and the USB device is plugged into that hub, which is then plugged into your device, then disconnect that hub and and try and, and plug the device directly into your PC and that could also resolve the issue. And then what you can do if that doesn't work, you can run the hardware and devices troubleshooter. Now to run this, the simplest would be is just to head back to your start, right click. This time click on run. And then in the field, just enter this, this um, run command. 
msdt.exerd device diagnostic. Now that's quite a, another mouthful. So um, I'll leave that in the description for you to copy and paste. And then all you do is click on OK. And this will open up the hardware and devices troubleshooter. And then what I do suggest is just clicking on next and going through all the steps. And that could also, be, also possibly help you resolve that issue. And then something else you can try. And I have actually done this in the past and it has worked. If we head back to our device manager, head to uh, the um, device that has the error. You can right click again. And you can uninstall that device. Let it run through the prompts. It doesn't take very long. And once it's uninstalled the device, uh, it will most probably ask you to restart your actual computer. And if it doesn't, I do suggest restarting your device. So restart your device. And then what it'll do is um, when it restarts, Windows will find the compatible um, driver and reinstall that and reinstall the device. And that can also help. And I have tried it in the past and that does work. So you can uninstall and reinstall um, the actual uh, device um, going through the steps that I've just shown. And then something else you can try and head into another step is to disable fast startup. Now, in case you don't know what fast startup is, um, uh, it's basically a feature in Windows that's designed to speed up the boot process, the, the boot up process of your computer. And I have actually posted on this previously, but just to do a quick recap. Now, um, although it's designed to speed up the boot process of your PC, um, sometimes um, this fast startup feature can um, uh, prevent your operating system from detecting USB devices. So to get to the feature, um, it's found in the legacy control panel. So um, you can just do a search uh, for uh, the control panel, or I have the control panel pinned to my start. So head over to the legacy control panel, then uh, head over to your uh, power options. And then what you need to do in the top left, click on choose what the power button does. And here you'll see a setting, turn on fast startup, which is recommended. And that is enabled by default in most Windows operating systems. Now you can see I cannot actually uh, disable and enable that setting. So here you'll see at the top, change settings that are currently unavailable. Click on that. And now you'll see I'm able to disable turn on fast startup and um, see if that helps and then maybe just restart your computer and possibly that can also resolve the issue. And then something else you can try and there's just a couple of steps left for the purpose of today's video. And as I said, um, these have personally helped me in the past and this is by no means a comprehensive list but just a couple of things uh, you can actually try. And then something else uh, is to head back to the device manager and you can scan for hardware changes. So what you need to do here is you need to unplug uh, the actual USB that's giving you the error. So unplug that from your device. Then head up to the toolbar and here you'll see a little screen icon, which if you hover over it, it says scan for hardware changes. Click on that and there you go. It's scanned and it's found no errors. So in my case, obviously there are no um, hardware changes and there are no errors. So it went very quickly. And um, if the system recognizes any hardware changes and then you, once it's done that and run through that process, you can then um, plug in the USB drive, uh, uh, that USB drive again and see if that resolves the issue. And then um, if that doesn't work, uh, make sure your computer is up to date. Make sure um, that you have the latest uh, Windows updates, all the latest um, bug fixes and cumulative updates installed by clicking on check for updates. And also, um, you can also, if you have recently installed an update and you've gone through all these steps and it's still giving you that error, then what you can try and do is uninstall the update and you can just do a search on this channel on how you can uninstall an update if you don't know. So basically that was just a couple of steps you can try to resolve the issue, unknown USB device, device descriptor request failed. And as I mentioned in the, in the start of this video, try just unplugging the, uh, the device from the relevant port at first and reconnecting it. And then if that doesn't work, restart your device or disable and enable the actual device that's causing the issues from the device manager. And I have found in most cases, those three quick solutions will actually resolve this issue before you have to dive a whole lot deeper as we've gone through in this video. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.